Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial in Canva. Before we get started, I just want to say that this very tutorial is going to be very smooth, very interesting, very, um, you'd love it, you'd love it. And today we are going to be creating um, a Nike design sort of, okay, so like you see on the screen right now, that's what we are going to be creating and we are going to create the exact thing. So before we jump into the tutorial i just want us to roll the intro okay so here we are in canva and the first thing to always do before we get started with our tutorial is to click on create a design and um you know we choose our dimension if you're um, trying to use a particular dimension or you're trying to um, go with something specific you can just go with that because the design can always be the same but the dimension can be different okay so just um, select a dimension i'm going for 1080 by 1350 and i have it opened already so i'll just go in there and here i am okay and this is what i want to see every single element i'm going to use not every element but where the image i'm going to use can be found you know in the description there's a link in there that would lead you to a google drive okay so get it come back and let's continue so i come to upload upload media so i'm sure while i'm uploading mine you are also uploading yours so i go into downloads and i have the image i select it and it should be uploaded okay so you can see my image is downloading now so i click to um add my image to my to my design area okay so this is what i have and um, i'll just click on flip and flip horizontally okay then i'll increase the size of my image increase the size i can't see this thing well okay nice so this is what i have at the moment and um i hope i didn't distract you so the first thing to always do is um maybe let me just pull it up like this okay yeah something like this and so that we can actually fill the whole screen with our image then i press r for rectangle okay so i put this one here then i can just you know let it fill all of this area then i send it to the back and i change the color to yellow okay then I duplicate and um, I can put this here and also send it to the back. Okay, so I'll change this to black. No, I want to change this one rather. Okay, this area to black. And I can change this rectangle here to maybe white. Okay, so we can choose white. So you can see this is what we have at the moment. And I would want to make my image black and white so that it looks um strong so i come into my filter and i'll choose the street filter for my image okay so this is what we have at the moment let me just increase this a little bit yeah so now i'm going to add my text okay because we are not really going to spend so much time on this so i press z on my keyboard okay and um what we are going to see is the future okay but the thing is because of how the, the style we want to go for we are going to break all of these words down into letters okay so this would be just a t and it should be capital okay so t good and i'll select my t come into okay uh my typeface area and i'll just change to the montserrat extra board and the reason i'm using this is because i can make it italic okay and you know when it comes to sports most of the things we do okay most of the fonts you see in sports are bold and italic okay so i can put the t here and i can see t h okay and i can duplicate this one again and this one will be like an e okay so e okay so I want to I want to say the future is um, the future is now okay so I can select this and send to back 
okay and um, i can also choose this and send it to back okay and you can see this is also here so i send it to the back and you know this was intentional so that you see that you want it to be easier you want everyone to find it easier to read what you have so try as much as possible not to put some words um in certain areas that would be difficult to um to read okay so we can just leave this one as it is okay then i duplicate this and i can say future okay so f okay and this will be you and i'll just speed up the process so that we don't waste so much time Okay, so you can see what I'm going to do now is that I will duplicate it and when I bring it to this area, um, I can just change the color to black. Okay, so it's not a problem at all. And you can also just use the words you want to use. Okay, don't let anything stop you. Okay. Okay, so you can see what we have at the moment so i send this to the back again and um okay maybe some huge adjustment but i hope you just get the idea of what we are trying to do okay and i know <laughs> for this tutorial i've just been speeding up uh most of the process oh i'm not trying to print so i would also send this one to the back okay so this is what we have so my now the ow can be maybe white okay and um white and just not to make this feel odd i can change some of the letters to um black okay so this one like this can be in black and um what i have at the back here can also be black okay so um yeah and i think yeah the is we have over here can also be black because i just don't want one um letter to be odd okay so i now select this okay shape over here position and um i'll just send it to back okay so we have this right now i'll move it up and um yeah so this is pretty much what we have at the uh, moment okay so let me just move my image and I'll send the Z also to the back okay yeah and I'll bring my image I just want it to be right on top of it a little bit you know just to make our design look interesting interesting you get it yeah so maybe the end can also be yeah now move the O and uh okay so you get it this is what you can do and um let's add some few um you know garnishing so i search for nike nike logo oh what the heck is this i can't so seriously canva doesn't have a nike logo no problem so let's go here let's go to clip ads okay clip and then um, once i download it i would also add it you don't have to come here but just check the link in the description okay so i'll even speed up the process all i'm trying to do is find the nike logo okay and i'm even typing clip ads so right okay so i've downloaded the nike logo and i have it here right now so yeah i add it on my design i choose the size and i bring it here okay then i'm going to add maybe facebook instagram no social media um stuff like that okay so what i'll do is i'll come here and um, even before i start adding the logos i would first of all add a circle okay then I move the circle. Let me just use my arrow key because 
it's becoming very difficult to move around because now i can click and move it to the top over here so yeah and duplicate bring it here duplicate again and also move it here then i can select all of them holding shift and choose the color okay and change all to white then i come into my element and i search for facebook okay so facebook and um yeah that's what we have admin but i'll use just the f okay and i would move it to the top over here and there's a reason why i'm doing that okay so facebook and i would also search for instagram okay so instagram select this one oh okay so i have it here and i also move it here then maybe i can add one more um twitter okay okay so i i just look for the bit i don't know why certain things on here are like um paid so it means that if i'm going to add twitter then i have to delete one of my circles okay because it's already in um, a circle so i'll delete this then i select all of this okay oh the facebook isn't selected we need to make sure facebook is also selected so let me just maybe move here and bring the facebook here also okay then i select all of them and reduce the size and the reason why i love to select all of them is just because um i want the size to be you know to be equal if i should say it that way yeah so twitter can be here since it's a circle instagram can move inside okay and facebook can also uh move inside so we have facebook also here and i change the color of the facebook to black instagram is already black with the twitter um the blue will turn to white okay so the blue now be white and the white will now be black so this is what we have at the moment and i just push it together okay so one more thing i want us to add is you know we're going to add our website so i can press t on my keyboard and i'll just say www dot um let's say nike dot com this is not um an affiliation or something something like that i'm just designing because uh i don't know nike stuff are very nice honestly speaking okay so yeah and i would put it here move it to the bottom over here then i change the color also to black then i want to add some few dots you know like this one so I can put this one here. I can put this one here. And I can also put this one here. Okay. Hope you get the idea. So with this one, I can select these two. Okay. First of all, let me just move this up. Then I select this one and also move it up. And I can maybe select all of them. Holding shift. Okay. then i change the color to black so you know we can have something like this you can add some slanting stuff or even with this shape okay what you can even do is you can you know make a shape like this okay it's also a style you can you can choose to go for so you can do so many things uh to make your design look very very you know, so i can put it over here so that it's like she is the dividing factor or something like that and i think i like i like this um this style and uh, maybe what i can the crazy thing i can even do is to add a line a line over here hold shift and reduce i feel like adding more stuff but that's all for this real. so you can see this is very cute and what i even love so much about this is the fact that um all our text you know has been italized i hope i mentioned the correct word and this shape also here has been italized so it makes it look very very interesting so i just hope you also loved it and you loved um designing with me the name is benjamin and if you love this video 
you know prove it by hitting the like button if you want more tutorials like this one and um, other mind-blowing ones hit on the subscribe button and yes i will see you in my next video